So today I'm talking about a P0052 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0052 code? Well, it's an HO2S heater control circuit high bank two sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And the onboard computer uses this to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going in the engine. And then the second thing they do is have heater elements built in. And this does a few things. It helps the whole system go into what is called a closed loop quicker and the heater elements also monitor the catalytic converter since when the catalytic converter starts to fail it starts to heat up too much so it's also watching for this and v6 or v8 engines they have two banks bank one always be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder and then the opposite of that is bank two so if you find the number one cylinder that'll be bank one the opposite of that is bank two and then sensor one will be the first sensor going down on that side and some possible causes of a p0052 code well it could be a bad sensor could be in the wiring like an open or short and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the bank two sensor one oxygen sensor. And there can be some differences in how the engine's laid out and where they're located. So it's always a good idea to go find a diagram for your particular engine and year or vehicle, since it makes it easier to find exactly where they're located. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with the 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see, bank two sensor one is gonna be right here. And it's gonna be before the catalytic converter. And the sensor one is gonna be called the upstream oxygen sensor. And and it's going to be located before the catalytic converter and the sensor two is going to be called the downstream oxygen sensor and it's going to be located after the catalytic converter and so once you locate the sensor next thing to do check out the wiring be sure everything looks like it's plugged in good and basically keep in mind that if anything's wrong with the wiring bad connection open short anything like this going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor also keep in mind that these are on a fuse there'll be a fuse box inside the engine compartment and there's usually a fuse inside of there for these and sometimes a relay sometimes they can be labeled a little bit vague so you might have to do a little bit of research on your particular vehicle and engine. For example, this is a 2012 Toyota Camry, and you can see AF sensor is right here. And if that blue, it could cause an issue. Some vehicles also have a relay, so keep a lookout for that. And so if you check that all out, and that all looks good, the wiring looks good, no blowing fuses, anything like that, the very likely that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced. You can test it if you want to. The heater element side of these are pretty easy to test if you have a meter. I made a video on that. If you need to check that out, I'll put a link down below. But basically, you just find the same two color wires, like right here, these two white ones. That's for the heater element. This gray and black one would be for the oxygen sensor. You measure resistance and be sure it isn't burnt out. Like I said, I made a video on how you can measure the heater element. I'll put a link down below in the description if you need to check that out. One thing to mention about these oxygen sensors, especially the sensor one, is that quite often they need this special tool to get them out and get them back in and get around that wire. It's really going to vary sometimes they are out in the open more where you can use like an open-end wrench and then sometimes they're recessed down into the exhaust where you basically need that special tool to get them back in but go and look at it and be sure that you got the right tools to get it out because sometimes you do need this special tool to get around that wire and get it back in. I'll put a link down below to show you what I'm talking about with the special tool if you need to see what it is. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing a P0052 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.